Hello everyone, this is Rebel Whovian and today I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I thought it'd be quite nice to do some videos related to Series 12, as I've never done these sort of videos before. The first of which will be the top 5 monsters that I'd like to see return in Series 12. Personally, I'd love to see at least 3 returning monsters in Series 12, as it was something that was severely lacking in Series 11. However, Chris Chibnall has stated that there might be some returning monsters, so these will be my 5 picks for monsters I'd like to see return in Series 12. As a quick note, I won't be including classic monsters as I'm yet to fully delve into classic Who. I've seen a few stories, but I haven't seen enough to know what monsters I'd like to see return from classic Who. At number 5 are the Ood. This may seem like an odd choice, but I really like them. They have an incredible design where they can go from cute to scary in a second, and although they're always used as slaves in Doctor Who, as the Doctor's wife proved, there's still some interesting things that can be done with them. Another reason for why I'd love to see them make a return is because they're in one of my favourite stories of Doctor Who, which is the Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit. I doubt that they'd be brought back in Series 12 though, mainly because I believe that if any monsters are to be brought back, they're going to be either classic monsters or prominent monsters from New Who, such as the Weeping Angels or the Cybermen. At number 4 are the Flood. You're probably surprised that this isn't lower down on my list, but the reason for why it's not as highly regarded for me is because if they were to return, it could take away from their first appearance and that could result in them becoming a lot less scary. On the other hand, I decided to include them on my list as I still think they could be used really well. I've actually got an idea of how they could come back. The Doctor returns to Mars and some of the Flood are still alive. However, as Mars is really hot, the water turns into condensation and fills the air with molecules of water vapour, meaning that anyone exposed to the air is infective, therefore making the flood airborne. Although the airborne infection wouldn't be as scary, it would supply some high stakes and would be an interesting concept for them. I also think that with the new anamorphic cameras and the new visual effects team, they could look great. At number 3 are the Slovene. I realise that the Slovene might not be regarded highly by a lot of people due to the farting, but I really like them. As a child, I found them terrifying, and I still see how they could be seen as terrifying today. Also, I absolutely love Aliens of London and World War III, and of course, Boomtown. Boomtown gave the Slovene so much more depth, and that made them stand out to me as interesting villains. As well as that, they haven't been in Doctor Who since the end of Time Part 2, so I just really want to see them on screen again. With the new visual effects company, which is double negative, I'd love to see what they could do with them. The running shots and the unmasking scenes could be done so well and could really be shown to be the terrifying creatures that they are. The only problem with bringing them back is that I'm not sure what they could do with them, but I'm sure Chris Chibnall and the other writers could come up with something. At number 2 are the Sontarans. I've seen the Sontarans appear on a lot of people's lists for monsters they'd like to see return, and I can see why. I did mention that I wouldn't include classic monsters in this ranking, but the only Sontaran stories that I've seen have been in New Who, so I'm going to allow that. I really like the design of the Sontarans, especially their modern look with the blue armour. I'd love to see an episode with them and the Rutans, as we don't tend to see that often. And with the new visual effects company, I'd love to see how they'd pull it off. Recently, the Sontarans haven't been very threatening, as the only main Sontaran that we've seen has been Strax, who, although funny, has meant that the Sontarans aren't anywhere near as menacing as they used to be, which is a real shame. By bringing the Sontarans back in full force, they could make them scary again, as well as showing them to be the powerful warriors that they are. If Chris Chibnall was to bring back Strax, he could do a story in which the Sontarans find Strax and send him to be executed due to his dishonour displayed to the Sontarans. Despite this, I doubt Strax would be brought back, as he's a Moffat era character, and I can't really see him being used in Chibnall's era. This being a top 5 meant that some monsters weren't going to make the list, so here are a few of my honourable mentions. The Vashta Narada. I love the Vashta Narada, but I think they could only fit with the context of Silence in the Library and Forest of the Dead. And bringing them back could result in them becoming less of a threat. The Cybermen. I absolutely love the Cybermen, but the reason for why they're not on my top 5 list is because they're inevitably going to be brought back, especially as they're one of the most memorable villains of Doctor Who. Weeping Angels. I had to put these monsters somewhere on the list just because of how creepy and imaginative their design is. It didn't make the list however, because I feel that after so long, I don't think the Weeping Angels could be as scary as when they were first introduced, and Chris Chibnall has stated that he doesn't have any intentions of bringing them back. And finally, at number 1, it's the Autons. Plastic coming to life is such a neat and scary concept. It's a shame that they haven't been in Doctor Who since 2010 in the Pandorica Opens, and haven't had a proper story to themselves since 2005 in Rose. 
I always thought that it was a massive missed opportunity that they weren't brought back in the 12th Doctor's era, as they would be perfectly suited to him. They could have even done a heavy themed episode like the Zygon Invasion and the Zygon Inversion, but this time instead of war it could be pollution. Plastic is becoming more of a pollutant day by day and is covering the world. But it's not plastic, it's alive, and it's being driven by the nesting consciousness, getting ready to suffocate the entire world to become a planet for their own. I think that would be a really great concept for the Autons, and could really showcase how scary and powerful they really are. If it was a two-part story, that would be even better. The more screen time with the Autons, the better. Moreover, if they brought them back now, it would be much more impactful due to the long time they've had off screen. Done right, the Autons could be terrifying, and with today's prosthetics and visual effects, they'd look fantastic. I don't know if Chris Chibnall would bring them back. However, if he did decide to bring them back, then it'd make Series 12 much better than it would be without them. And that was my top 5 monsters that I'd like to see return in Doctor Who Series 12. I'd love to hear what monsters that you'd like to return, so feel free to put them in the comments section below. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, I certainly enjoyed making it. If you did like this video, maybe consider commenting, liking and subscribing. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.